According to the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office, a former Pulaski County public school teacher is accused of having an illegal relationship with a student. Jonathan Bell, 31, was arrested and charged with two counts of carnal knowledge and one count of indecent liberties with a child under 15. His arrest happened shortly after a Pulaski County student made the accusation. The student claims the incident happened several years ago while Bell worked for Dublin Middle School. Bell is awaiting further action while being held without bond at a Roanoke County Jail. Hundreds were arrested this week outside the White House as a result of their participation in protests urging President Barack Obama to reject the construction of the proposed Keystone XL pipeline. The $7 billion, 1,700-mile crude oil pipeline would stretch from western Canada to the U.S. Gulf Coast and would deliver 800,000 barrels a day of crude oil to refineries in Texas. Critics of the project argue that the construction alone would be devastating for the land surrounding the construction site, putting communities nearby at risk of oil spills and toxic pollution, along with worsening the effects of climate change. Obama blocked approval of the Keystone XL in January of 2012, saying he needed more time for a fair review and is expected to make it a definite decision regarding the future of the project in the next few months. The quarterback competition in Blacksburg just got a little bit more interesting. Sunday, former Texas Tech QB Michael Brewer declared that he was transferring to Virginia Tech. Brewer had originally been projected to start for the Red Raiders last season, but a back injury hindered that opportunity leading to Brewer being placed third on the Texas te depth chart. Brewer will be placed in a direct contest with upcoming senior quarterback Mark Leal, who is originally the candidate to follow Logan Thomas. Brewer has two more years of eligibility left after he graduates from Texas Tech in the spring.